If you have scrap value, then only we need WDB for sixth year. No scrap value. This is not required. Your investment minus tax saving, you are done with your own fund. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here. Lecturing with Yashram First Grade College, the temple of excellence. Now we are discussing your topic called Corporate Tax Planning Unit 4 and Session 6. In this, we are discussing the topic called Tax Planning and Managerial Decisions. In today's session, we discuss about one problem on own fund as well as borrowed fund. We are done with own and lease fund, but we did only one problem on own and borrowed. So we will work out for one more problem on own as well as borrowed. So these are the informations we have in this. An SSC wants to acquire an asset costing rupees 20 lakh. What is the value of the asset? 20 lakh. The life of the asset is 5 years. The rate of depreciation at 15%. So these are the information we have. Assume additional depreciation is applicable. Effective managerial rate of tax is around 26%. And they have two options. First option will be 10% per annum at borrowed fund or else own fund. So which one is better you are supposed to suggest. Now. These are the PV factor at 12% rate. So at 12% rate, we have 0 0.893, 0 0.797, 0 0.712, 0 0.636, and the last one, 0 0.567. These are the rates we have as per PV factor. You have to calculate own fund, you are supposed to calculate borrowed fund and you are supposed to tell which option is better. If own fund are invested to purchase the asset, if the own fund is invested, what will be your answer like? Your year column will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Your year column will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And your cash WDB, as you know that if it is a own fund, 20 lakh is your investment. Take 20 lakh in this. Your outflow, you can mention it as 20 lakh. Now, your 20 lakh, you are supposed to calculate depreciation. What is the depreciation? 15% along with that 20%. Total, we have two depreciation, 20 as well as 15. Now, so in this, 20 lakh calculate. So what is the depreciation? 15% assuming additional depreciation not applicable. So we are not calculating additional. We calculate only normal. 20 lakh into 15% you will get 3 lakh. 20 lakh minus 3 lakh 7. 7 lakh into 15% you get 2,55. Again, minus, multiplied with 15%, multiply with 15%. Similarly, you are supposed to do. As I told you, do sixth year also. Why we need sixth year? I'll tell you why it is. Now, so 10,44012.15 minus 156,601.88. I got 8,87,410. So this, this is your answer. Hope you are clear. So this is what your answer for this particular calculation. So this one is done and you are supposed to add this total also. Column number 2, column number 4, you are supposed to add. So column number 2, we have not added. From this, you minus this, you will get this value. Now, what is the last column? 69,654, 52, 841, plus 40, plus 30,465 plus 
86. I got 2,16,170 is your answer. Now, so we're done with this calculation. 8,87,000, 2,16,000. What you're supposed to do, very simple. Take your actual investment minus your tax saving. I'll show you that. Your actual investment is how much? 20 lakh. What is the tax saving? 2 lakh 16,000. This minus this is your answer. Do we have scrap value in this problem? Just check. There is nothing called scrap value. So no calculation of scrap value. So this is also not required. Hope you are clear. If you have scrap value, then only we need WDB for sixth year. No, no scrap value. This is not required. Your investment minus tax saving, you are done with your own fund. Your answer is 17,83,128. Now we'll go for borrowed fund. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and own fund beginning of the year you are supposed to write investment and in the borrowed fund end of the year you are supposed to write. Why? Because you have to repay that. Now what is the interest 10%? What is the amount you have borrowed 20 lakh? 20, 2 lakh, 2 lakh, 2 lakh, 2 lakh, 2 lakh. Why it is 2 lakh? Simple. 20 lakh multiplied with 10%. You will get your 2 lakh value. Now, so after that, calculate interest. Interest is calculated, done. After the total cash outflow, what is your total cash outflow now? So these are your total cash outflow. Remember that the columns are like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, so in this what happens? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In this, column number 2 plus 3, this is the answer. Then, what is the depreciation? Already don't calculate again. Go back to own fund. Already calculated depreciation. Copy, paste. 3 lakh, 2 lakh 55, 2 lakh 16, 1 lakh 84, 1 lakh 56. Same thing we copied and pasted. What is your interest and depreciation? Your interest as well as depreciation is, this is your interest, this is your depreciation. Add both. If you add both, your answer is 5 lakh, 4 lakh 55, 4 lakh 16, 3 lakh 84, 3 lakh 56. These are your totals. Then, Tax saving at 16%. What is the tax saving? 16. So your tax saving is how much? 26%. Now, so we'll calculate now. Make it 26%. Yes. So simple. On this value, you calculate 26%. You will get this answer. Clear? Whatever the numbers you have, multiply with your tax, 26%, you will get this. Every question paper, the percentage will change. Why? Because that time it was 26. Now we are writing that is in the percentage of 31.2%. So in the question paper, they will mention what is the percentage. Now, so this is done. Once you are done with that, net cash outflow, 4 minus 7. So what is a 4? This. What is 7? This. 4 minus 7, you will get this answer. Clear? Yes. And these are the PV factor. This multiply with this. This multiply with PV factor, you will get your present value of tax saving. Very simple. Add your outflow minus your tax saving, you will get your answer. Now, so once you are done, you are supposed to add your last column. What is the actual outflow? Your actual outflow is 62510 plus 65114 plus 65 
251 plus 63662 plus 1194829. I got around 14,51,366. Like 14,51,368. 14,51,368. Take this value. This value minus your last own fund, WDB value. Remember, own fund, WDB value. So what is the WDB value? So for that WDB value, take your PV factor. If you multiply, you will get 5,3,000. From this, you minus this, you will get 9,48,206. Hope you got it. Yes. So this is your final answer. If you go with own fund, 17,83. If you go with borrowed fund, 9,48. Hope you are clear. Yes. So it is rejected because it is higher. It is accepted because it is less. Hope you are clear with the concept. Now I'll go back to all the previous slides so that you can take screenshot. Problem number eight, your solution part, own fund, own fund, final answer, borrowed fund calculation, borrowed fund, final answer with conclusion. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. Please work out at your home.